Passion Travail is a chain specializing in everything related to travel, street food, and like subscribe if you like the content. Pastel, deep-fried pastries filled with savory ingredients, often including tuna, vegetables, or cheese. In Cape Verde, pastel is a popular street food and snack that consists of deep-fried pastries filled with a savory filling. These pastries are similar to empanadas or samosas and are loved for their delicious flavors and portability. Here's more information about pastel, filling, pastel fillings can vary, but some common options include tuna, vegetables, ground meat, often beef or chicken, and cheese. The fillings are typically seasoned with a variety of herbs and spices to enhance their taste, dough, the dough for pastel is usually made from wheat flour, water, and sometimes a bit of oil or fat. The dough is rolled out into thin rounds or squares, and a spoonful of the filling is placed in the center. Folding and sealing, the dough is then folded over the filling to create a half moon or triangular shape. The edges are pressed together to seal the pastel and prevent the filling from spilling during frying, deep frying, the sealed pastels are deep fried until they become golden brown and crispy. The frying process cooks the dough and ensures the filling is fully cooked and flavorsome. Serving, pastel is typically served hot and can be enjoyed on its own as a snack or as part of a meal. It is often served with hot sauce or a dipping sauce for added flavor and spice. Portability. Pastel's handheld and convenient nature make it an ideal street food. It's easy to carry around and enjoy on the go. Making it a popular choice for quick bites during outdoor events, festivals, or on the streets, pastel is a beloved snack in Cape Verde, enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Its combination of crispy pastry and flavorful fillings makes it a delicious and satisfying treat that showcases the country's culinary creativity and diversity. Espatada, skewered grilled meat, usually beef or chicken, seasoned with spices and served with a side of rice or bread. Espatada is a popular dish that can be found in various regions, including Madeira, Portugal, Mozambique, and some parts of Cape Verde. It consists of skewered and grilled meat, usually beef or chicken, seasoned with herbs and spices for a delicious and flavorful experience. Here's more information about espatada, meat selection. The traditional espatada is made with chunks of beef or chicken, although other meats like pork or fish may also be used. The meat is typically cut into bite-sized pieces suitable for skewering, seasoning. The key to the rich flavor of espatada is in the seasoning. The meat is marinated in a mixture of garlic, olive oil, vinegar, herbs, such as oregano or bay leaves, and various spices. The marinade helps tenderize the meat and infuse it with the aromatic flavors, skewering and grilling. After marinating, the seasoned meat is threaded onto long metal or wooden skewers, along with vegetables like bell peppers, onions, and sometimes tomatoes. The skewers are then grilled over an open flame or on a barbecue, allowing the meat and vegetables to cook together, resulting in a smoky and mouth-watering dish. Serving, espatada is usually served hot off the grill. The skewers are placed on a plate and can be enjoyed as a standalone dish or accompanied by sides such as rice, salad, or bread. The tender and flavorful meat, combined with the charred vegetables, creates a satisfying meal. Cultural significance Espatada holds cultural significance in the regions where it is commonly found. It is often enjoyed during social gatherings, family dinners, and special occasions. The grilling of meat and vegetables is a communal activity that brings people together to share in the joy of good food and company. Bifana, bifana thinly sliced marinated pork served in a bread roll, often with mustard or hot sauce. Bifana is a traditional Portuguese street food that consists of thinly sliced marinated pork served in a bread roll. It is a popular and beloved sandwich, known for its delicious flavors and simplicity. Bifana is commonly found in Portugal and its former colonies, including Mozambique and Cape Verde. Here's more information about Bifana, pork preparation. The main ingredient of Bifana is pork, typically pork loin or pork tenderloin. The pork is thinly sliced to ensure quick and even cooking, marination. The pork slices are marinated in a mixture of garlic, white wine or beer, paprika, and other spices. The marinade helps to tenderize the meat and infuse it with flavor, grilling, after marinating. 
The pork slices are quickly grilled or pan-fried until they are cooked through and develop a slightly crispy exterior. Bread roll, by Fana, is served in a soft bread roll known as a papo secos, in Portugal. The bread is typically sliced in half, and the grilled pork is placed inside to create a flavorful and satisfying sandwich. Condiments, by Fana, can be enjoyed as is, or it can be customized with condiments and toppings. Some common additions include mustard, hot sauce, pickles, and sliced onions, which add extra tang and texture to the sandwich. Serving, by Fana, is usually served hot and is a popular street food option. It is commonly found at food stalls, cafes, and outdoor markets throughout Portugal and its former colonies. Cultural significance, by Fana, is deeply rooted in Portuguese culinary traditions and is considered a national favorite. It is often enjoyed as a quick snack, a casual lunch option, or even as a late-night treat after a night out, by Fana's tender and flavorful pork, combined with the soft bread roll, makes it a delicious and satisfying street food option. It represents the heartiness and simplicity of Portuguese cuisine, enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. Fijota, a bean stew made with various types of beans, pork or beef, and spices, typically served with rice. Fijota is a traditional and hearty Brazilian dish that is popular not only in Brazil but also in some other Portuguese-speaking countries, including Portugal, Angola, and Mozambique. It is a flavorful and rich stew made with black beans and a variety of meats, often served with rice and other accompaniments. Here's more information about fijota, beans. The main ingredient of fijota is black beans, which are cooked until they become soft and creamy. The beans form the base of the stew, providing a thick and flavorful broth. Meats, fijota typically includes a mix of meats, such as pork, beef, and sometimes sausages. Common meats used in the dish include pork ribs, pork shoulder or loin, beef brisket or chuck, and smoked sausages like linguica and chorizo. These meats are cooked together with the beans, infusing the stew with their rich flavors, seasonings. Fijota is seasoned with various herbs, spices, and aromatics to enhance its taste. Ingredients like garlic, onions, bay leaves, black pepper, and sometimes cumin are commonly used to add depth and complexity to the stew. Cooking process. Fijota is usually prepared in a large pot or a slow cooker. The meats are browned and cooked with the beans and seasonings until everything is tender and well-flavored. The stew is often simmered for several hours to allow the flavors to meld together. Serving. Fijota is typically served hot and is a popular dish for gatherings and special occasions. It is traditionally enjoyed with steamed rice and accompanied by various side dishes, such as collard greens, sliced oranges, farofa, toasted cassava flour, and vinaigrette sauce. Caldo de Peaks, a hearty fish soup made with fresh fish, vegetables, herbs, and spices, offering a comforting and flavorful dish. Caldo de Peaks is a traditional Cape Verdean fish soup, known for its rich and flavorful broth made from fresh fish, vegetables, and aromatic herbs and spices. It is a popular dish in Cape Verde, especially in coastal regions, where fish is abundant. Here's more information about caldo de peaks, fish selection. Caldo de peaks is typically made with a variety of fish, depending on what is available and fresh. Common fish used in the soup include grouper, snapper, tuna, or other local fish varieties. The use of different types of fish adds depth and complexity to the soup's flavor, broth. The base of caldo de peaks is a flavorful fish broth. To make the broth, fish bones, heads, and trimmings are simmered with water. Onions, garlic, and other seasonings. The fish broth is then strained to remove any solids, leaving a clear and aromatic liquid. Vegetables, various vegetables are added to the broth to enhance the flavor and nutrition of the soup. Common vegetables used in caldo de peaks include onions, tomatoes, bell peppers, carrots, and sometimes potatoes or cassava, aromatic herbs and spices. Caldo de peaks is seasoned with a combination of aromatic herbs and spices, such as bay leaves, thyme, parsley, and black pepper. These ingredients impart a fragrant and savory taste to the soup. Cooking process. Once the fish broth is prepared, the vegetables are added and cooked until they become tender. The fish fillets are then added to the simmering broth and cooked until they are cooked through and flaky. Serving.
caldo de pics is usually served hot and can be enjoyed as a comforting and nourishing soup on its own. It is commonly served with bread or rice on the side, providing a satisfying and filling meal.